This lesson is for kindergarten and grade one. Um, we're going to start out with using 10 frames and we're going to be showing numbers and we're going to get into the beginning of breaking numbers apart and starting adding and subtracting. Um, Nelson has a, a really neat um, activity and it's it's about the school bus and we can do a human 10 frame. So if you're in your class you could line up five chairs in the front and five in the back and these would be your your, your students actually. So you start start out with um, let's say three three kids are sitting on the chair so you can have a dice and on the dice you're going to have one on, one off, two on, two off, three on, three off. You shake it supposing you roll a two. So two more kids go and sit on the chairs and you can ask them how many are sitting on the chairs. Now they will know that each row has five. So some are going to start counting at one, two, three, and then counting on four and five. Some may say, well, there were three all together when I started, and then I just count on from there, so I go four or five. And then some may say, you know what, I know a whole row of five is there. I don't have to count. I know it's five. And the idea of the game is you may roll, say, one that says take one off. So now what do I have? And you're you're talking, okay, how how do you find that out? Well, some are going to add. Some are going to say, well, there were five. I take away one. Five take away one is four. So it's lots of um, good conversation of what's happening with our picture. So this is an example of a concrete. We're going to act it out. I could take it one step farther and move it into making a model. Now there's different 10 frames that you can purchase. You can also just have a piece of paper. These ones I like because for the kids that are tactile and they want to show seven, I've got a row of five and I've got a row of two. One thing you might say, is that still seven if I move them around? Do they all have to be in order? Tilt it up a bit. So it's 3D. Yeah. Okay. So these these are sponge. Now when we get into bigger numbers in, in later years, we can start connecting them. If I have a full 10 frame, I have 10. I have a part of a 10 frame. Well, I have 10 minus 1. Or they may still want to count, depending on what stage they're at. So this is a different 10 frame. Here's another one. And these are magnetic. These are good for the teacher so that you can actually hold it up. So here's our single 10 frame. When, I, when kindergarten is just starting, you would have just a single 5 frame. You would only have the one row. Now, as they get older, and we want to start into addition, you might have the double 10 frame. So it's on the other side. So I could have 10, or 7 rather, 7 plus 4. Make 10, these move, my 10 frame is full, I have 10 plus 1 is my answer. Now, as we move, those were all concrete. Mm. Now, Mrs. Kelly, come to the office, please. Mrs. Kelly, please come to the office. Okay, as we move from the concrete to the pictorial, we could have flat 10 frames. And these are just done with bingo dabbers. Now, you can mix them up. So, these are in standard form. Uh, the red... I've tried to group into two groups so they can say, well, this is three, here's another three. And then in the green, they're, well, they're more than two groups. So if I take a look at this one, some kids may say, here's three, here's another three, and one more. So they might say it's getting into doubles. If I turn it this way, some kids are going to group it, here's four and two more and one more. 
Now, you want to encourage all the conversation because many kids are going to look at this very, very differently. This is a good activity just to get them focused as well. Um, you may show this and say, you know what, I'm going to let you see it for three seconds. I'm going to turn it around. Then on your 10 frame, I want you to make it. You can make it the same. You can make it in a different arrangement, but you will have the same number as the total. So that's something else you can do with those. Um, if you get on the internet, this is a booklet that uh, Winnipeg School Division put together and it has lots of 10 frame activities and dot cards. Dot card activities as well. So print it out. There's probably 35-40 pages of that. Um, if we wanted to go to larger numbers, this is getting towards the end of grade one and part of grade two. This is just a um, piece of cardboard from a fridge. These are just beads and a string. Here's another one with a shoelace and smaller beads. Now, this is um, called an arithmetic rack. And Kathy Fosno um, has really done a lot of work with it. For example, if I was showing, here, let's use this one. It was if I was showing the number seven. Oops. Let's go this way. Okay, I can say I have five oops, and two more. Five, six, seven. And you can ask the children, how did they get seven? Some of them are going to say, well, you know what? I know it's ten take away three. If they're older and you're starting addition, seven plus eight. Some may say, you know what? I see ten right there. And I see how many there. Or some may say, you know what? I want to make ten. If I give these guys three, I have to take three away so that it keeps equal. I've got 10 plus 5. I've got 15. There's lots and lots of things you can do with this. It's very simple to make. Um, she has come out with two books, Games for Early Number Sense. She has a lot of activities in there. Those are for kindergarten and grade 1. Then for grade 1 and 2, she has mini lessons on early addition and subtraction. Lots and lots of great ideas working with numbers using your arithmetic rack. So 10 frames are very, very valuable for kids to get a good sense of number.